when Jesus has crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his, face, at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her that she may get well and live. He went off with him and a large crowd followed him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhage for 12 years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, if I but touch his cloth, I shall be cured. Immediately, her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who has touched my cloth? But his disciples said to him, you see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The women, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Dore, your face has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue's official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. What trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid. Just have faith. He did not allow any, anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they, rid they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child, father and mother, and those who were with him, and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talita kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, Arise. The girl, a twelve, the girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that, they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know that no one should know this, and said that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know if sometime maybe in your life, before some difficult situation you were going through, you felt that discouragement voice that said to you, don't worry anymore. Don't fight anymore. Maybe before the death of a loved one, problem of sickness, financial problem, job problems. Maybe you are 
fighting against some vice, against the sins that you, you fall down frequently. And you can hear that, that, that voice, you know, maybe from someone, you know, coming from someone, or maybe in, in your inner conscience, that voice that said to you, don't fight again. Uh, why bore yourself anymore? Uh, don't fight uh, against that situation. That is the form of consolation of the demons. In, instead of help you to going through that situation, he discourages you. That is a form of consolation of the demons. Don't worry about anymore. Don't worry. Don't fight again. And before that situation, many times, many people fell down. They fall down. They, they don't continue to pray, to come to Mass, to meditate the Holy Gospel, to strive to fight more and more against that situation they are going through. But Jesus in today's gospel, by hearing that voice of the friends of that synagogue official, that voice that said to, to that, that master, that, that, that person, why bore the master anymore? Your child has died. Don't bore the master. And Jesus said to him, do not be afraid. Just have faith. Brothers and sisters, that is what we need in every difficult situation that we are going through. Many times you are fighting more and more, but you don't encounter you don't see a result, a good result. But Jesus said to you, don't be afraid. Just have faith. Continue fighting. Continue your daily battle day by day against that vice, against that sin, against that situation. Strive. Strive and strive more. I am with you. Pray. Fall down before me. Pray every day. That is our Christian life. That is the, our behavior, the testimony that the Lord expects from us. So for us, we cannot get out from that situation, that worst situation without Jesus. We need faith. And we, we need to cultivate that faith more and more in him. Do not be afraid. Just have faith. Let us ask him to help us so that before our weaknesses, before that daily and daily struggle that we are fighting, even if we are, we are not seeing a concrete result, be patient. Stay with the Lord. Come close, close and close more to him. Because that hemorrhage women and the synagogue official, what we need, they need, is that contact of Jesus. That women touch Jesus with that faith and he encounter that healing. And that synagogue official one from Jesus that he laid down his hand over her child. That contact of Jesus, we need it. Do not go astray from him because he is the one who can help you to overcome that situation that you are going through. Let us ask him to help us and to comfort us in our daily life as a Christian as a pilgrimage in faith. Let us pray one moment in silence.